Slant and uh, Slant Season 3 is getting a pretty bad rap right now because of its terrible pacing and constant yapping. So, if you're just wondering like, why is there so much yapping currently in the show, that's mostly because it's being converted from a light novel to an anime. Light novel had uh, the same amount of yapping and Normally, in seven or so episodes, they would have adapted an entire volume, but they haven't because of the sheer amount of exposition. And understandably, a lot of people have been put off by it. So, let me summarize the first six episodes of Japanese for you so that you can just dive right into episode seven where the action starts. Not entirely, but like half of episode seven is still just yapping. So, I'll be summarizing the first seven episodes of Slime Isekai or Tenshura, whatever you want to call it, so that you can just jump right into episode eight, which will come out two days from now. Oh, and yeah, you don't need to watch the yapping. I'll just summarize it all for you right this instant. And so let's just get into it. Episode number one. Himmel returns from Valpergas after beating Clayman. The Havdo goes to particularly take over the kingdom that was too enough to fight Remaru, which why did they think they were gonna win? And he accomplishes this task by his sheer aura alone. This was way better than the light novel where they actually had a press conference, which they skipped for some reason. If they had it that, that would have made this episode so much more better. More better, but continuing from that, the nation's leaders meet and they decide that the nation will be reparations, which uh, amount to roughly 1 trillion yen. So, yeah, that's a lot of money. This gets brought up a lot throughout the show and it's kind of important because uh, this has officially destabilized the entire political power in that kingdom. Moving on, uh, this was the entire plan to take over for and most the country that attacked Tempest was supposed to take a decade, but as I previously said, because of Diablo's sheer aura alone, he did it in like five minutes, like it took him like five minutes to take over the entire council. And after that, it's literally just him playing around. Like, it's done. For now, this Tempest Vassal State now. Oh, and moving on to episode 2. Episode 2 starts off with Yugi and his goons. Uh, they get to know that Clement died. They realize who they fucked with. And yeah. Yeah, everything they said is inconsequential garbage. Ignore it. And, and the other half was Hinata's backstory, which is she got helped by Shizuku and then she realized, okay, I'll join the church knights. She climbed the ranks and then realized that, oh shit, the god they have been worshipping all along was Demon Lord all along. If you forgot, um, Wallenstein had placed one of her gods as the Demon Lord, which she has the exact same thing for the church. So Hinata fights him, kills him, then the real Wallenstein shows up and yeah, Hinata proceeds to become her Literally, that's, that's about it. Then moving on to episode number three. Something important to mention in this episode is that if development of studies increases, the angels will attack. Don't worry about it, it hasn't happened till like halfway through volume 19, even though they say that it's pretty damn close. It hasn't happened, maybe volume 21, I don't know, I haven't read that far. But episode number 3. Running over important things, uh, Rimuru is going to build a home for William. Yom progresses in the path of his kingship. Rimuru teaches guide management, very important. And, and uh, Tengus exist. But Tengus exist in the forest of Jura. A random fact builds upon the world, kind of important, don't worry about it. Alright, Benny Maru's harem gets foreshadowed, uh, future dungeon exploration are foreshadowed, Rimuru is not full. Anti-magic barrier is invented, important later on, don't mind it. Veldora is pent up, if he releases monster mania cards, important later on, don't mind it. That, that was half the episode, right? literally 11 minutes on these two points. Means, um, Guild leaves for construction. Not that important, don't mind it. Did something happens to Rahim. Uh, everyone remembers Rahim. You remember Rahim? You don't remember Rahim? Rahim, sir. And um, important later on, don't mind it. 
did a revolution and the peace message to the church uh, important and grand festival preparation begins you can't have a season of adventure without a grand festival now can you so grand festival preparation begins that's episode 4 episode 5 a lot of new characters get introduced don't worry they all die by the end of the arc or they are totally irrelevant by the end of the arc don't even bother learning their names he not shows who boss church uh, shit their pants literally but they still decide to fuck around they will find out later on on uh, remember message gets empowered with and church elites go to war with tempest they learn jack shit from falmuth <laughs> Yeah, they still want to smoke with Rimuru, which I do not understand why. Like, he soloed an entire army. They don't believe it, but an entire army got demolished. Even if they think that, okay, Rimuru might not have done it, but Eldora is there. They can't kill Eldora. If they kill Eldora, there are more dangerous dragons that will be on their asses then. That was probably a spoiler, I should not have said that. Like that. And then episode 6. Adamant shows up. Again. Who's he? Skeleton thing. Is he broke? He is a skeleton and a sim. He's broke. Look, uh, battle plan is made to deal with the upcoming threat. Um, honestly, it's not much of a threat. It's only a threat in the apocalypse. And it's mostly a race to find out who dies first. Which I don't really, okay. A lot of people die in this arc. Like, okay. The clergy dies, then does any of Hinata's crew die? That's what I'm thinking. So maybe they do die. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're alive, but they're so irrelevant that I don't remember. But anyway, don't don't mind them. They, they, are, they are irrelevant. The Christians show up so because uh, Rimuru has less fighters, so yeah, they need their help to even out the numbers. And this problem might arise in the future, so River comes up with the most amazing uh, solution for this. I don't want them to cover the, the entirety of the process of making that particular thing, because I want them to get to volume 15 first, that's the just what I'm up till now. Oh, but still, like, can we just get to that already? Because that's like, okay, I won't tell you what it is, but that's going to be the highlight of the season. Isn't and uh, the villains for the next arc make an appearance. Kinda important, don't mind them. And um, they are Granville Rose. Oh, and they got a gun. One relevant character uses a gun. One. Remaru does not even see him. So, whether important or not, you decide that. Uh, he is, plot wise, he's really important. He does a lot of shit. And he has a gun. That's character trait. He has a gun. <laughs> um, random fact, uh, the blue red haired girl in this uh, in this episode, she's this goblin. She wanted to be with Bai Maru, although her luck won't allow it. So she is stuck with him. <sighs> this one managed to... Uh, how? I guess he got some risk, I don't know. Episode 7. This is the final episode that has been released as far as the recording of this video. And episode 8 will be out in a few days. I will make another summary on that, although it's primarily going to be fighting. So I don't think it needs a summary, but um, Hinata starts her journey towards Tempest and realizes that Rimuru is changing the world for the better. Food war style. Well, um, and he wants nothing but peace. Once again, this was half the episode. This did not need to be half the episode. This would have been five minutes. Five minutes. Um, kind of get by people are mad at this. Yes, um, and oh yeah, this blonde simp. Why are so many simps blonde? Like, no, no, seriously. Why are there so many simps in anime that are blonde? I'm gonna just leave that question there. Yeah, anyway, the blonde simp exists to make problems when they deemed when there don't need to be problems. And ignore him. Ignore him, he's either dead or totally irrelevant. And um what's next? 
Oh, yeah, I should mention at this point that uh, the goblins that are fighting in this war, uh, they're immortal. Effective immortal. They all died with, during the initial raid by Falmuz and uh, when Rimuru evolved, all of them got a healing factor akin to Deadpool. If you don't know how strong Deadpool's healing factor is, um, well, it's on the same level as uh, Wolverine and he regenerated inside Hulk's stomach. Hulk ate him, he regenerated inside him and then ripped him apart. Shion is leading them and training them. They're about to become the most devastating force in Tempest. Like the third or fourth most devastating if I'm being generous here. Because uh, let's see, first of all they got insects, insects, demons, then probably them. Um, and um, yeah, that, that's everything yapping in Tenshira, season 3, up till now. Seven episodes of yapping. I guess six and a half, but like seven episodes of yapping. Like they still yap a lot in episode seven. Seven. Um, so yeah, that's seven episodes of tension up in uh, about half the time it took for one episode. So plot to me, um, I get why people don't like the beginning of the season. And um, light novels don't always translate that well in an anime, like, literally. In the light novels, I really enjoyed this part, but in the anime, even I think that, okay, they stretched it out for way too long. And I don't really think they're adapting as far as I thought they would, but still, they, like, if they continue at this pace and they finish this one, this volume, they can still include two and a half volumes in this season. Which, I guess, if it gets season 4, then it will put us right before the starting of the war with the East. Wait, that means season 5 is a straight war. Then it's going to work perfectly. If season 5 is going to be crazy, season 4 is going to be insane. Not as crazy as season 5. I'm going to, be, I'm going to keep it real here. And season 3, well, it's going to work right now. The next arc is going to suck. The, the villain in the next arc is literally like... Uh, <laughs> what do I even tell about it? I have no words for the villain in the next arc. She's boring. Like literally just, just straight boring. I, I don't even know what to tell you about her. She was so boring. <laughs> but like the arc itself is interesting because Melian shows up and they go on and tell you an exploration which is always fun. Then, and just so you know, there will be more meetings in the season. One more, to be more precise, in which Raymaru meets all the races in the forums of Jura, which I don't think they're gonna stretch out for too long. I mean, there's like one relevant character that shows up in that, which is a certain someone's daughter. So, there's a dead beat in Tempest. I'm gonna let you decide who that is. Yes, and uh, why is she important to me ask? Well, first of all, she's someone's daughter and second of all, she's someone's future wife. Who? I already told you in this video, so I, that, that, that's not that big of a uh, surprise at this point because I already told you, so I probably shouldn't have, but if, if you like this video, then subscribe, like, comment, you know how YouTube works, you know how this works. Do everything, and if you want more summaries for Tenshira or literally any other show, just let me know in the comment section and I'll make them. Bye for now, and see you. I should probably start uploading regularly for if I want any semblance of growth, but I don't care. I don't think I can upload tomorrow. Maybe I'll upload tomorrow. See you next time.